Okay, so what I'm gonna to try to show now here is how we can actually install volatility within Security Onion. So then we can actually look, do some of our memory analysis. All right. So I'm just gonna open up a terminal. I'm actually going to clone the GitHub site where volatility is. And I'll put that link in the description when I do this. And that's pretty much it. So that's going to create the volatility folder on the machine. And it's going to contain the source code. And you can run the volatility directory from there. So what you would do is you would actually go into uh, that directory and then with the command running volatility and point it at the memory file that you're using. And then you select which plugin that you want to use. So I'm going to pause this while this uh, downloads and then we'll look at the folder. All right, so that's done. Let's see if, uh, yep, there's volatility. So let's go into volatility. Let's see what we got in there. Um, we've got our Pi installer resources. Let's go into volatilities because that's where I remember all the plugins were actually found. Sure enough, there's a folder called plugins. And then we can see what's listed in here. Okay, so of course the blue are different uh, folders, if you will. Um, it's still Linux sees them all as files, of course. And so if we want to go into, for example, the malware file, see what's in there. You can see the different malfind that uh, I was able to use during the competition, which was pretty good. The PSX view. Um, and the API hooks and the call callbacks, those are all great um, plugins to run. Of course, one of the other ones that you want to run is this PS tree that you see up here. Um, that's a great one. Um, different modules that are running. So, that is how you would actually put in. Here's one I haven't tried before, it looks new, which is uh, Win 10 Cookie Pie. Um, one of the plugins that I ran that was actually successful was with either Sockets or Sock Scanner or was NetScan, but it was basically looking for what network connections were running from the memory. And so that's uh, another one to keep looking at. So that's how you would actually install it in Security Onion if you want to stay in one machine. Um, one of the big pluses of that is since Security Onion the latest edition requires up to eight gigabytes of RAM. If you're on a, a lesser machine like mine, I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM total. I can run most of my commands now in my security onion and between security onion and the SIFT workstation, I think I can get most of the work done. All right. So that's it for now. Thanks.